Be willing to make a move, and when you move, move fast. Don't listen to what the world say. Listen to what the word says. If you want to live long, healthy, hear God more than to hear the devil. 1975, we were about to open Miracle Center, our first cathedral building. And I hear the press say, the, this one said this, I was weeping one night. Oh God, what have I done? And he said, what did you hear? They blackmailed me. They backbite me. And the Lord said to me clearly, come here. What did you say they did? I said, they backbite me. He said, backbite you? I said, yes. Did they bite your front? I said, no. Backbite me. He said, toughen your skin and deafen your ears and continue the journey. 22 years ago, I heard that. From that time, I've encouraged millions of preachers, millions of believers and thousands of preachers all over the world. The trip is too good to turn back. And the Bible says, he that lays his hand on the plow cannot look back. It's not the devil who called you. And I have it in a small, slight English word. If they blackmail you, whitemail yourself. <laughs> they have black paint you have white paint did you hear what i'm saying where you are going is so far to look back will draw you back don't look back don't look back he who is against you is not the one who called you god is for you and if you read your bible very well you hear the bible say i know the thoughts which i have of you they are thoughts of good things and not of evil you have a long way to go. This is just primary and kindergarten school you are now. Very soon you enter high school, class one. The university is still waiting for you. You must be willing to ignore the voice of the devil and listen to God. Once again, I remind you, if you are going to go far, keep your dream. It may cost you your first coat. It may cost you your second coat. But 17 years later, those who took your coat will bow before you. And say, Mr. Joseph, we are here. We need corn. Surprise them. And live long enough to prove your enemy wrong.